Let's take a look at how to use duration so that we can sort of look at uh, an entire film using edits and then uh, we'll do some fun sorting as well. So I should recommend, I should say that you need to have done the FF probe tutorial before getting to this tutorial. So if you haven't watched that one yet, go back, run that notebook. Uh, so we have all of our data in our JSON file, then we'll come back over here and sort of use it. Okay, so again, no GPU needed this week for this lesson. So we'll run this cell and we should get an error message. There it is, command not found. We'll run this to connect to our Google Drive. Open this up so we can start to see where our drive is. There it is. So what we want to do first is we're going to uh, feed in our JSON file. Remember, our JSON file contains path data, duration data, dimension data, and now frame rate data. So for all of that, we want to load in that file. And if you followed along exactly with me, um, your file should be in this location inside of an algo film folder. It should be underscore video underscore clips dot JSON, which is what is here. So if you've set up the same format as I have, then your path is there. If you've moved it elsewhere, you can copy it from there. Next thing is this file name filter. So what I want to do is I actually just want to filter by a single film. because I want to look at the visualization of just that one film. So the way to use this is to go into your clips folder and I want to use the Night of the Hunter film. So if I open this up, I'll see that all of my files start with night-hunter. And all you're going to do then here is put in night-hunter and all that's going to do is it's going to filter our JSON by this value. So we'll go ahead and run this. It's now loaded, and if I look, we should see that everything is loaded in there correctly. Great, so now we can go ahead and visualize the data. And what this is going to do is going to go through all of our JSON clips, and it's going to look for this duration value. And it's going to say, how long is this duration? Uh, in this case, this looks like it's six minutes long which actually might be right. This is a fairly old film, so there weren't a lot of uh, edits in, in back in the day, you know? Did a lot more longer shots. Um, so we'll go ahead and grab these data, and then we'll generate a little visual of how that looks, um, you know, sort of in that black and white sort of sketch. We'll open that, and we'll see what that looks like. So we can go ahead and do that by just running this cell, and what this is going to do is going to save a file that will be called chart.png um, right here for us. So we'll run this. should be fairly quick. There it is. So this is a visualization, a visualization of what our, our edits look like. And if we refresh this over here, we've got a chart, so we can go ahead and download this. And let me pull this in, and you can go ahead and see that um, this is how our edits work. Now, I should mention this film has a lot of fades in it. And if I had to guess, uh, Piscine Detect does not do well, in particular with fades. So this might not really be super accurate for, the, for where the clips and edits are but it's more of the idea of how things work, right? So um, what I kind of love about this is you can see, you know, it's pretty even throughout. Now this is a movie, I think from either the late 50s, early 60s. Um, so you're not gonna see a lot of edits. If you remember in my lecture, you saw Pitch Black, which is like this crazy action film. There was like an edit, like literally like it, it looked more like a, a stripe than it did like this with blocks. But you do kind of see that at the end here, there are a bunch of edits. And I would, if I had to guess this last piece would maybe be um, you know, the credits or something. So there may in fact be a bunch of little action sequences here or even here. Um, so again, this is just a basic idea of what our film looks like. It's not necessarily accurate because of those fades and other things, but it gives us a little bit of a sense of how the film is edited or how Piscine Detect at least sees the edits. So that's that part. You can go ahead and run this against different films. So for example, I do have the other film in here, which was in algo film instead of clips i do have uh, pitch black and if i open this up i'll see that my pattern for my file names is uh, pitch dash black now i should mention this is also um, case sensitive so make sure it matches exactly where it might not find your film so actually i can show you what it will look like if i do pitch and i run this I have an empty JSON file because this does not match our pattern. Whereas if I do pitch 
and I run that, I now grabbed all those. So I can run this again, and now you'll see this is what it looks like with all of that pitch black, all those edits, a ton of edits in there. Um, kind of a crazy film. So good example of sort of the difference between those two. Uh, next, let's take a look at how we want to sort by duration. So I'm going to actually switch this back to Night Hunter, grab those clips, and we'll scroll down here and we'll see that we can now sort by duration. What this is going to do is going to take our data that we've just processed or grabbed, and it's going to now sort it by duration. And there's sort of two options here. One is we can start with the longest first and then get shorter, or we can go from shortest to longest. Either one of those is kind of up to what you want to do here. Maybe you want, with an action film, um, maybe you want to build up the action, or in the case of maybe what Douglas was doing with the ski scenes, you want to build up to like these long, dramatic, you know, slow-mo movements. Um, so either way, you can run this. We'll go ahead and run this. So this is shortest to longest. Now this cell, if I run this cell, it should point, it should print out all of the uh, durations in order from shortest to longest. You'll see here the shortest is 13 seconds. The longest is, wow, I don't even know. That's like, what, a 13 minute? It was 997 divided by 60. 16 minutes. Um, I don't know if that's accurate. I kind of doubt that there is a 16 minute shot inside of Night, Night of the Hunter, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, it's been a minute since I've looked at that. But again, probably not the most accurate. There's probably reasons for why this particular film is not super accurate. Maybe it's because black and white. Maybe it's because there's lots of fades in it, whatever. But um, you will see this is sorted now from shortest to longest. If I switch this to longest to shortest and run this again, and then spit out these dimensions, I should see it in reverse. So it should be 997 down to 13 seconds. So that is how to order these. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're actually just going to concatenate them all and turn them into a clip, a single clip where it goes from short to long. Um, in this case, longest to shortest. Um, now I should mention this is set up to only work right now with a single film. Um, we could do this across all of our films. And then what we need to do is actually, uh, we're gonna need to edit this cell. So actually maybe what I'll do is I'll add to the cell um, in, what, when you come back to this, you'll see there's a different cell here. And it'll be set up to either do that padding thing which we talked about for, uh, wait, we haven't covered dimensions yet. Oh, we'll look at the next, uh, in the next uh, tutorial, we'll look at dimensions and we'll look at how to actually change that. So for now, we'll just make sure, I would say like, just make sure you only work with one film right now. So we'll do Night Hunter, run that, and then we'll skip down here and make sure it's sorted. And then what we can do is this will process out our files. And what we'll do is we will, uh, let's turn our output into a parameter, output equals, um, and then we want to do at param type string. I don't know if that's going to work. Let's see. I think that works. Okay, cool. Um, so let's actually turn this into a path that we want to save this to. So let's go save this to output. And why is that not working like that? Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll save this out. So we save it out to the right location. This is not the right uh, setup. I'll fix this for us. But essentially what will happen is we'll be able to set our output path and then we'll save our file there. So um, when you run this, then it will then concatenate all the files and it will spit out a uh, sequence that is now reordered. Um, now, obviously this is an hour and a half long film. I probably don't want to do that because it's going to be going to take a while to process that um, for this demo, at least you could do it. It probably will take, you know, 20, 30 minutes to actually process that, um, but it will generate a pretty cool little effect. So go ahead and run that. Um, I'll clamp this notebook to make sure it works for us. Uh, but yeah, this is how to use durations. Um, and in the next video, we'll actually look at how to use dimensions to pad and crop our film. And maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe in the middle of this week, I'll actually update this notebook to contain uh, that potential option. And then what that will allow us to do is allow us to actually sort over all of our video clips. Um, but to start with, let's just look at one piece and then we'll go from there. So um, we'll go over to look at dimensions next.